Alternatives to firefighting foams are sought by fire experts all over the world, including here at Germany's biggest airport in Frankfurt. Film forming foams are crucial in fighting flammable liquids like gasoline, heating oil, kerosene and so forth. They are the strongest weapon firefighters have. But today's foams all contain PFTs, so after we put out a fire we have to bring in an excavator and remove the soil. We need a real alternative to existing foams without these toxic materials, but that extinguish just as well. To test one such alternative, chemists from the University of Cologne are here in Frankfurt today. They've spent years developing a foam entirely free of PFTs, but they don't yet know whether it will put out fires as thoroughly and quickly as firefighters require. A handheld fire extinguisher and five liters of kerosene are the materials in the experiment. It's not so easy to test a fire. You can't set up a fire experiment just anywhere, so we're grateful for Frankfurt Airport's cooperation. We'll be getting feedback from the people who will ultimately be using this new phone. One spark is enough to set the kerosene on fire. Temperatures of 800 to 1,000 degrees Celsius are quickly reached. The fire can only be extinguished by keeping oxygen from the burning fluid, and that requires a solid foam carpet. The chemists from Cologne long sought alternatives that could replace perfluorooctane sulfonate, or PFOS. This tenside produces the best fire extinguishing foam so far, but it also causes the worst environmental damage. So far, we only know about two classes of substances with these qualities. First, the polyfluorinated tensides, which we'd like to replace for environmental reasons. And then there are siloxanes, which we used here in our new fire extinguishing foams. But so far, we haven't been able to produce siloxanes that have the qualities we need for extinguishing fires. We had to synthesize and test completely new molecules in this class of substances. Fire extinguishing foams containing PFOSs have been banned since 2011. But the substances that have replaced them don't work as well, and they still contain fluorine and damage the environment. The siloxane tensides developed in Cologne are based on renewable resources and are completely free of fluorine. The researchers have tested 400 new substances of this kind for their suitability in fighting fires. The tensides have to rapidly spread across a liquid surface on their own, forming a layer that is as airtight as possible. That's the only way the foam can cut off the fire from its oxygen supply. Most big fires cannot be controlled without foams that create a film of water. The siloxane tensides work in the lab. Now they have to be tested in practice. That testing is being done at Frankfurt Airport with a simple handheld fire extinguisher filled with the new foam. The results look good. We wanted to see if the foam forms a water film, and it does. But we had hoped it would cover the whole surface better. The drainage rate is not high enough. But this was very good for a first attempt. If the layer of foam were thicker, it would close up better too. We hope this gap would close on its own. That would have been optimal. The Cologne chemists and the firefighters at the airport think they're on the right track. After more testing, their environmentally friendly firefighting foam could be in use by 2017. Until then, foams containing fluorine will still be the big guns when fighting fires, and they'll still cause severe environmental damage that's expensive to clean up. All over the world, firefighters are waiting for the new foams from Cologne.